The more I read criticism about Hello Boss, the more I realize that Luna is simultaneously one of the favorite and most criticized characters in the show. And honestly, I agree with a lot of the criticism. The word I keep hearing regarding Luna is immature. People say she is too emotional, unstable and bad tempered for her age. Although she's supposed to be in her early 20s, around 21 or 22, her behavior resembles that of a rebellious teen who hates their parents. There is this general expectation that by your early 20s you should be more mature and emotionally stable. At least that's the popular consensus. This video is inspired by a previous video essay I made about sexism in Hell of a Boss and how the female characters, despite having a lot of potential, are severely underdeveloped. I mentioned that Luna doesn't treat Blitz with kindness or even basic respect, which many feel he deserves. Reflecting on their relationship made me think about Luna's perspective and why she behaves the way she does. This led me to realize that I relate to Luna far more than I initially thought. Like Luna, I'm also in my early 20s and I'm neurodivergent. Sometimes my mental condition is a real pain in the ass, excuse the language. Being autistic, I find myself easily irritated by people. But there is one person in particular who frustrates me more than anyone. That person is my father. He is a very traditional, old-fashioned man who holds strict beliefs about gender roles. There is a lot that comes with that outdated mindset. If you've seen any of my other videos, you know I'm a very progressive person. So my dad and I clash over almost every social and political issue. He is the kind of person who believes that immigrants are out to take people's pets and schools are turning kids transgender, whatever that means. Even now in my 20s, when I'm supposed to be more emotionally stable, I struggle to be around him. Almost everything he says agitates me, even when it's relatively harmless. I feel irritated and distrustful of him, and he is my biological father. Now you can probably see why I empathize with Luna and understand her outburst towards Blitz. Her situation is way worse than mine, because Blitz isn't her biological father and she was adopted at 17, which is already an old age. Luna doesn't like or trust him and sometimes it seems like she is verbally abusive and dismissive of his feelings. But we only see their relationship from Blitz's perspective. Since he is the main protagonist of Hell of a Boss, we're meant to see him as a good guy. Yes, he does some terrible things, but we're led to believe he has a good heart. Meanwhile, Luna comes across as unreasonably cruel towards her adopted father, who took her from an orphanage, gave her a home and even a job. However, Blitz is far from an objectively good person. He could have chosen any career but opted to run an assassination business, killing people for profit without remorse. He never expresses guilt over the people he's murdered nor does he question the morality of his actions. His company doesn't just target bad people, they kill anyone, even innocent individuals like Amberlynn from the last short episode, who only posted some offensive things online years ago. If we could see things from Luna's perspective, we might understand her better. Just imagine this, you're 17 years old and a ruthless imp takes you in, makes you work for him and live with him. He's crude, violent, mentally unstable, and drinks heavily. Now could you possibly feel positive emotions towards someone like that? Naturally, Luna would resent him. And it's important to remember that Blitz didn't adopt her out of compassion. He needed a hellhound for his business. Luna knows this all too well. Sometimes I feel bad for my dad too, especially when he is drunk or sick. I feel compassion because that's a normal human emotion. Luna shows a similar compassion when she sees Blitz down at the end of season 1. The issue people have with Luna isn't her character itself but rather the poor writing. Hell of a Boss is entertaining for sure, but the writing can be frustratingly inconsistent. A slight shift in the story's focus could improve the show immensely. Blitz may be the main character, but it doesn't mean the narrative should revolve entirely around his perspective. The same goes for Stolas and his family. 
but I'll dive into that in a separate video. There is just too much to unpack. Stay tuned and, well, I'm not great at ending this video, so bye.